Welcome back to another video. My name is Good. Uh, we're, we're gonna go. Uh, I can talk today. God dang. Welcome back to another video, people. Um, right now, we are um, gonna go and breeze through all of the uh, Inktober uh, prompts, just the rest of them. Um, I'm just gonna do a. I'm just gonna showcase what I did, and then um, I'm going to also do a quick description of I, what I was thinking. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get through that, and um, I know I made videos in like uh, like speed uh, clips of like me making the drawings, but I realized that the video last like the last video was just too long for my taste, so I'm just gonna um, shorten it up a little bit and work on just um, showcasing the pieces, and then like I said, do a description of it. So. Well, for delay, uh, let's get into it. So if you remember last video, um, that I said that I did, um, some prompts, uh, like from like the primal and then the regular, I did mix and match maybe because I couldn't think of, <clears throat> excuse me, I couldn't think of anything that I could really, uh, draw with that creatively at the time. Um, now thinking back on it now, I'm just like, God dang, I could just, I could have did something like this, I could have did something like that, I could have combined the two or something like that, I don't know. But anyway, that's no here or there. So we were left off, we did, um, hope. So now, um, we're on to day 11 at this time. I didn't do disease, I did disgusting. Um, so we're gonna just um, get right into that one right quick. So dealing with this one, um, it's just disgusting. Um, I kinda did a little bit of like two things here. Um, I added like here, like you see that the warm's coming out of her eyes. Let me zoom in a little bit our eyes and nose and mouth and then I put some other eyes on her cheeks and then I put a big cockroach on there that's disgusting enough right right <laughs> but yeah this was actually really fun to do um and then of course you know it's painful for all this to happen so I added the tears because that's just my sick mind all right and next off is on slippery now this one was really fun to do I um, got inspiration from a local Instagram artist, not local, but just someone on Instagram, um, and their whole spiel on, like, Slippery was really cool, um, and I just, like, decided to make, you know, a banana peel on top of, a giant banana peel on top of that, on top of a house, which was really cool. I, I spent a lot of time on this, and, like, you know, the shrubs there, the mailbox right there, and then, of course, the birds in the sky, which is a big birds now that I think about them and then of course I spent a lot of time on the smoke and everything out the chimney and that was fun to do and I really enjoyed making this because it, it kind of flexed my um you know creative skills a little bit when I was making it and it was just a blast to make you know and I also liked um experimenting on a little bit of stuff so I experimented on some trees here trees in the background trees in the background over there too and then uh, I've never really drawn a electrical pulse like that so drawing like that was just really fun to do um and actually very explorative and then i added a little bit more details throughout the piece just so if people who were really looking at the piece could actually look and see the cool things that i've added into it um uh, i'm not going to point some of them out right now but um if you look at the piece now on my instagram um you can see like you know some of the details i put into that next off was dune now dune i wanted to do the whole reference to the whole dune series and i also want to do the big dual worm dune worm thing i forget what it's called i'm not and, and that's actually goes to to show like how much of a person of like a fan i am with the dune series i'm not really much of a fan of it i don't know much about it you know so um i just decided not to do it that way and i did my own thing um i went a little bit more creative creative with it as well add a little bit of afro um, futurism to it as well uh, i think i actually this is one of my top favorite ones right here because i just i snapped on this one really this one was really fun to make because um when i was thinking of like the concept for it um i already was good at drawing like um you know landscapes it's in my like i'm still learning of course like as an artist you're always still learning but when i was drawing this i was really impressed with some of the things that i was coming up with and um, this and drawing, you know, the woman here, who um, I try to make, you know, more of a shiny texture to her as well by adding a little glossy um, effects on there. And then, of course, you know, I added uh, these little rays of sunshine, like that's, and then her third eye, like just being open and everything. It's, you know, it's different. 
It's different. I actually might put this in the shirt, to be honest with you, but I'm not sure. I don't know. But yeah, this was this was really fun. This was like one of my, I'd say this is my top five, I think. Uh, I haven't really, I did come up with a list of my top five on my Instagram, but I'm not sure if that still holds up today now that I'm looking back at some of these, you know? So yeah, this was this was fun. This was fun to make. And then we're on to armor. Um, this one was also fun to make as well. I mean, that's gonna be the theme of you know, the, a lot of these drawings is they were fun to make because they were fun to make. You know, I had fun doing this challenge. You know, even though I was exhausted and working and stuff, I had fun with this. Um, so this was um another concept piece that I took. Um, I looked into some uh, references and that I looked into other things to kind of get in comic book styles as well to kind of get that comic book feeling um with the armor excuse me i also added um you know some rear and tear to the piece as you can see this has been like a battle hardened armor piece you know just a, like a torso piece and then i added my little logo right there on the belt um just you know just to show that it's just uniqueness that it's mine you know personalize it but yeah this was this was great um i i I actually had a fun time doing these th this part here, you know, trying to come up with a more dynamic look that, hey, this is a 3D object, and um, when I did that, I actually uh, didn't know what I was doing until I kept looking at more references, which is another big tip, by the way. Always use references when you don't know when you are looking at a piece or when you're drawing a piece and you need some more accuracy to the piece like I, I, I highly recommend you look at references or you just find a reference that you're drawing off of and hey if you're trying to use like a I, I actually use this as an, as an uh, advice to people anyone who wants to um, do a little bit of realism in their art or to are trying to study lighting and shading literally just go use your shading use your I'm sorry use your reference use your reference picture um, and look at the lighting um, aspects of them, and you know you, you can get the uh, a pretty um, good idea of how to shade and light and paint things when you look at your reference. And it's actually a really good guide tool to you know doing your own thing when it comes to developing your style and um, painting and whatnot. Some websites out there that are good for that is Pinterest. Pinterest is an amazing um, resource for um, you know references and painting and tutorials and all that kind of stuff and of course youtube and an instagram like any social media when you can find tutorials or just ways to improve your art style definitely use those they're free too so you know just no excuse in that part so yeah it's 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 a good it's a good tool and i i, I highly recommend pinterest though pinterest has some really creative um creative um parts I, i've been i've been actually really inspired by a lot of um things on pinterest so definitely check that out and now we're on to the next one which is going to be let me switch to my screen here oh yes outpost outpost was really um a interesting one because i spent i think i spent this one on my day off i think and i spent like a full day just coming up with the concept for this one this one was oh my goodness this was it was a it was a landmark of some of my skill points because, I mean, <sighs> the first off, let me just break it down a little bit. So when I when I first um, thought about the concept for this piece, the first thing that came to mind was I wanted to have like the olden days beliefs, you know, back in the day where they thought that the world was suspended on turtles or elephants or something like that. And, you know, I wanted to have that kind of feel to it mixed in with... I'm not sure what episode or the name of it. I forgot the whole um, episode of it, but the Avatar: The Last Airbender. That whole scene where he was on that floating lion. That whole episode where he was on that floating lion. I like that. That one. That that stood out to me as a, as a really magnificent episode, and I wanted to reiterate something like that um, a little bit um, to this. So I made an outpost on a giant floating turtle. And, and that's what I did. <laughs> it was actually really a cool concept. This actually became one of my more popular pieces on my Instagram page because everyone thought it was really cool. You know, the outpost just sitting on the turtle's back as it's shell, on the shell. Because I did include the shell there, as you can see. Oops, right, like 
over here. I didn't include the shell, but I did make make the giant turtle have like you no know, piece of land on his back, and it was really cool. I think this was this one came out really great. I actually like this one, uh, and and even though it was a doozy and it took me all day, this one was one of those ones that it's like on my top five. I would say put in my top ten because my top five list is actually getting pretty full right now. <laughs> so, but yeah, this one was this one was a blast, man. I I really loved doing this one. And then we're on to rocket. Um, you know, I had to do it. I didn't want to do a standard rocket like everybody else was doing. I just wanted to do Groot and Rocket Raccoon. You know that I'm a hey, I'm a Marvel fan. I'm a huge Marvel fan. So like this is just very fitting. Um, and you will see why I'm more mostly a Marvel fan in the next one too. The next when I come after this because I I, I like this one. I mean this one's fun. I, I use references on this one like I like I always do. Um. This is my first time drawing Rocket Raccoon too, so this was great. Um, also on Groot, that was my first time drawing Groot too, so hey, you know, it was the first time for everything. Um, I, I experimented a little bit on um, some of the fur patterns, so you can see how it's darker right here on, on the eyes, and then lighter on some spots, and then a little bit more darker on the rest of them, so I made it to, you know, he's a raccoon, so, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, show that in, a, in, in the... Um, in a drawing without having hard lines and have it shading in a little bit so yeah this was this was good this one was a fun one and next one is storm um like i said you know I, i'm a big marvel fan and i had to do part two actually of my storm collection because um if you don't remember back in or if you look actually on my instagram um back in 2018 um they had a prompt on inktober 2013 they had thunder and i made a storm one and that was the first one now this is my second one and this one is actually my second style of form sorry the who i can speak today it's my second style of storm that i really like i like the mohawk storm you know and i i, I like the outfit too I mean, if you haven't seen the hair, let me just see if I can pull up the, the um, let me see if I can pull up the first one real quick. This is the first, this one's the first, uh, Ink Storm post I did, picture I did. This is my very first and my most favorite style of Storm that it's just, you know, I, I like it. I love it. Uh, this is, like, perfect. And this is, I also, in this time, I was experimenting with skin tones. Um, I should remember that, you know, hey, we're black, you know, black people are black, you know, so why are they having, like, white skin tones in their thing, so might as well just put a little gray in it because it's black and white, and I, I actually love this, I actually have this on a shirt over at www.goodart.com, shameless plug, um, but yeah, like, this is, this is, like, the first one, if you compare it the two, here, let me go pull it up real quick, uh, right here, if you compare the two, you know, they... The, it's the like far comparison of how my I've developed in the two years, you know, of my artwork. Um, here, I'm gonna try to put this together. Uh, you see, like the two there, you know, it's like it's like polar, like difference, you know. Um, so yeah, this was this was like you know the two that I, I I liked was two styles of like a storm, and this was great to do. This is fun. It's a blast, and you know I like storm. Storm's really cool. I love the whole. Um, Wakanda and Storm series where she was married to Black Panther. That was just mwah, black excellence. So anyway, yeah, moving on. We're on to trap. Um, I could have did like, you know, some trap stuff like, you know, trapping out the bandwidth or trapping, uh, you know, like act trap, you know, like the trap, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but, eh, I decided to do a simple one on this one. I remember this night I was really tired. It was, I just got off work and I just wanted to do something simple. So I, I drew an actual trap, like the classic old box cheese mouse trap kind of thing. So yeah, nothing too, nothing really special here. Um, I did experiment on like box textures and we make this like a worn out box. I remember doing that. That was fun to do. And then of course the the, um, the, the rope here. Um, nothing really too special about this one. Just you know, I drew it. So. <laughs> Next one was Dizzy. Um, I did this one out of um, actually inspiration from my own brain baby power. I <laughs> I, I, um, I did the Renegon eyes. You know Renegon from Naruto. Um, I did the Renegon eyes off of inspiration I saw on Instagram. So I was like, hey, I should adapt that to my piece. But I did the three heads mostly because um, and these are three different people. I think 
like looking at it at a glance, you can think that it's the same person done three different faces, but it's actually three different people. Um, and you know, it's just a little, a little dizziness, you know, a little dizzy, a little dizzy, dizzy. Add a little swirl in the back there. Uh, different faces. Now, this one while I was experimenting with facial expressions, um, I definitely looked at like a bunch of um, references on that because um, with facial expressions you want to make sure that you know the face itself is actually involved with the expression so with the eyes there um it involved with the whole lip part right there and then the you no know, cheekbone and cheeks flap right there you know you want to make sure that that's all you know because when you're making expressions you know like this like you're happy and then you're just angry and your whole face is involved so making sure that i i um i illustrate that in the piece and i represent that is very um important when you're co when it's coming and now we're on to one of my top five pieces which was coral this one was fire i snapped off on this one this one was so freaking fun to make oh my goodness the the reference i used for this i completely redid the whole reference by the way the whole reference wasn't nothing like this so um i i definitely like on reference like the piece this one was like floral like this was a floral piece i'm like why not just add sea floral you know or whatever so i just added coral you know and then i made her ear earrings out of shells and i also um made this blue background here uh, in, in my style i personally like just having straight jet black hair uh, mostly because i'm a too lazy to do anything uh to add the details to the hair and two it actually adds to my unique style and of course too i'm not a big fan of drawing pupils um in my pieces but um in a piece like this this one was you know fitting not to draw pupils because it's it's me um but yeah like this was great i mean i want i want to just draw attention to this part right here this i actually like when, when you're drawing something um and you look and, and you you start to see it form and whatnot when you're when you're drawing it and you see oh this is actually coral or oh this is actually a person's face or this this is what i that feeling i was getting when i was making these the coral pieces was so satisfying i mean it came out so beautifully and masterfully in my opinion like i i even the coral ear pieces like the or the, the shell ear pieces like this was i mean I, I just had so much fun making this i just i just, I, I had no words like this was fun it came out great one of my top five pieces definitely and i think it also was one of my, my more, my more uh, popular piece on over on uh, my Instagram page got a lot of likes on that one, so top five, top five, top five, easily, easily. And now we're on to the next one, which was called Sleep. Um, this one was a good one, a nice little experimental. I experimented with lighting on this one, as you can see. Um, I experimented with the lighting in a in a sketch form, um, and it actually came out really good. Um, I did a lot of cross stitching, as you can see. Or what's it called? No, it's called cross sketching i think it's called i forgot the term it was called but uh like this this was a good one um i don't think i use a reference for this one i just did my basic you know things that i thought of like how i mean i sleep like this so that's probably what i came up with like <laughs> like i i guess why i probably came up with the position but um i mean this was like i didn't use a reference for this one i just drew it out of my head um, you know, and I, I drew the moonlight um, coming through the window. That came to my head as well. I was like, I didn't want to just, just just do it without the moonlight because the moonlight was like one of the centerpiece, and the moonlight is actually shining off of uh, the person. I think the one thing I overdid a little bit was on the reflective light on his back. I think I did a little bit over too much because it makes it kind of insinuates that he's sweating or he's very um, shiny, and he's he's not. He's just sleeping and he's good so uh but that's like the only wrap about the piece everything else came out great i loved it um not my top five but definitely high in my top 10 so really good oh boy now we're on to this one this one is uh chef um i'll be real with you i actually am not impressed with this one i did not like how this one turned out 
I'm looking back at it now, and I'm j I just wish I did a little bit more. I wish that I could have did a little better than this one, but I'm not really regretting it because it is what it is. Um, but honestly, I wish I could have did like you know a little bit more to this. Um, I mean, looking back at, at it now and like how far I've become, or I've came to you know my drawing style. The arms are a little sloppy, hands are very poorly sloppy um the food the place like it's just not to my standards of style um so i would definitely put this as like one of my least favorite one and now i'm looking back at the next prompt here it's that one's kind of it's okay but i could have done better on the next one too i think at this point in the inktober challenge i was just getting really exhausted and i wasn't putting as much effort um into um my pieces like i should have and I think that goes to show, like, um, how stressful sometimes the Inktober challenge can be, um, and, like, how straining it can be on your overall creativity. Um, but that's, that's subjective, honestly, because you can do it at your own pace, honestly, and you don't have to do a prompt every day. But I was challenging myself to do a prompt every day. So I was, you know, draw, um, drawing a prompt every day, and then this one came out. I was really exhausted, but it was like the, you know, tail end of, of October at this point. So, I mean, yeah, could have done better on this one. I still like the whole position of it and the concept of it, but I just could have drawn it and executed it a lot better um, than I did what I have now. So, and then same with Dig, which is the next prompt after um, Chef. Um, I mean. I did how I like how I experimented a little bit um, on the um, lighting side again. Um, I think that I like I think that I'm above and not that you know, I'm above this art style. No, like I'm literally think I'm like this. I used to draw people like this. I used to draw <laughs> like this. I'm not sure where I was going with this, um, like the, the the whole model. A little figurine person. I could have done better. I could have, you know, I, I'm at the point where I can draw actual people now. Maybe I just, maybe, like I said, you know, it, I was tired, probably exhausted at this point. But hey, I struggled through. I mean, I struggled. It wasn't a struggle at all. I, I, I went through it though. I know I, I went through it. Um, I still was very creative with the piece. Um, with some of the details in here, I think I went a little bit overboard with some of the lining and the dirt here on the dig, and the guy with the shovel. Um, I wish I could have did a little bit better on that one, but ah, uh, it, it was really fun. I actually had fun doing this. Actually, yeah, I was exhausted, but it was fun still. Um, and then I this is what I'm right here. This part of the painting or drawing, um, I wish I could have did a little bit some more on this, and I actually did not know what to do with this part because this part is like. You know, when you're digging from, a, from this point of view, you're digging and, and whatnot. What part shows the ground and what part doesn't? Do I continue the line right here? Like the line just I continue the line right here, or do I just add like the as it gets deeper, the dark, the darkness goes through because you know it's it's dark. There's no light in this part of the hole. So like, is there any you know lighting? Is there any like? Uh, barrier here that shows hey this is the, the ground and this is the sky or this is the background I don't know um, but yeah I, this one's so so this one's so so, so, so piece I, I I did enjoy having fun but uh, I'm sorry I did have fun drawing this piece but nah eh, it it was exhausting at the same time but it was great it was great and next off is Buddy um, after dig um, now I was still exhausted when I was making this piece I was still tired. I was still like, oh my goodness, working those um, long, long hour shifts and whatnot. But I wanted to um, definitely pull through on this one. I definitely wanted to try my best on this one, I, even as tired as I was. Um, and this one's actually a little bit more sentimental because this is my, my best friend in the whole wide world who I miss to this day. Um, I haven't seen him in a minute. That's why I am. I made his piece. He's still good. He's alive. He's not dead. But, you know, um, but you know, I, I you know made a piece dedicated to him and I, and you know, it's it was one of my favorite pieces. This is actually one of my top five. Um, this one uh, it took me a while to make. Um, 
I haven't seen him in a while. I only seen like videos and stuff like that of him, so I don't know what he looks like today. So I just did did the um what you call it a reference off of those videos and pictures and whatnot. Um, and of course that's me right there with my septum and my my scar. Did I actually have it right there? I think it's you can't see it. I have a scar right there in my dreads and my hat. So, but yeah, this is just like you no know, dedicated to us. I, I like this one. Top five, top five, top five. But um, miss you, bro. Miss you. And yeah, now we're on to hide. Um, you know, now at this point I'm, I'm well rested. I took it. Uh, I, I think it was on my day off, so I made sure I got enough sleep, and I was well rested, and we went back to the grind of this. This was a good one. This one was actually fun to make. Actually, um, the uh, um. One thing I think I could have added was a little bit of shading, which I actually think I did right right here. I think I did add some shading. It's just for maybe it's my monitor is not picking it up right now. Yeah, I did add some shading right there. Yeah, but yeah. It, oh no, I'm not doing that. But yeah, this was this was this was great. This was great. I went back to my roots, back to basics. Um, you know, made my faces and made a portrait. Um, and I made you, of course, you know, that beautiful black hair. You know, for black women hair. You know, I gotta do that with little baby hairs at the end of the sideburns. That was. Wow. Good, good taste. And then, of course, I, you know, it was Hyde, so I made sure that I had a uh, turtleneck over the face, you know, hiding her face, because, you know, representing the Hyde. Yeah, and this was good. I, I love this one. Perfect. And now, we're on to one of my, oh my goodness, this was an honorable mention that I had made, because it's not in my top five, but, you know, if I had a top six or something, I would have put this in there, and it would have been, like, the the third top i don't know man like this one i completely snapped on this one i actually remember the day i made this one um like what happened that day so i was drawing i couldn't i was racking my brain about like what to do for float i could have done anything i could have made a floating human i could have made a floating like just anything floating but i didn't want to just do something simple you know what i mean i don't like doing simple i like to go over a little bit over the top with my own style so what I did was, uh, I was really tired this day too, cause you know work. So I went to sleep, and I had a dream um, about. <sighs> dang, I forgot the dream now. Of course, man, it's a dream. I had a dream about something, and it kicked off like you know this whole piece, and it made the dream. You know what? I remember the dream. I had a dream about uh, about like this post-apocalyptic dream about it was sad and weird and. A lot of death and just weird. I I'm not gonna get into details actually now that I think about it. Stop none of your business. Anyway, um I, I went into the the piece and it made me go back into one of my favorite things about art is the perspective part of it. Um I love I'm not sure if I I've uh if any of you have seen it, but there's these drawings that out there, I'll post them on the screen of just these massive you know entities people monsters animals uh, uh creatures how you want to put it um and tiny little person you know and, and I, I like the scope and the scale of that i i absolutely like that and i actually wanted to make me one of those and i this was an opportunity to test out how good i was at it and here it is this is dope um i, I think one of my person also on, on instagram she, they uh they called this heavenly swole which is hilarious <laughs> but uh this one was i mean i i don't know what um no actually you know what i know what and what um what uh inspired me to make this let me uh pull it up real quick this one right here now this is a good example of what i was talking about where pinterest is a good way to find inspiration um i was literally just going on like scrolling pinterest before i went to sleep and for that nap i was telling you about and i took inspiration from, from this like big time like i mean where is the piece right here i wanted to do something like this but a little bit more in depth so i i took you know my basic anatomy skills that i knew um and i just you know added more big people in there and it was, it was really fun and then of course i had a little guy in his and like I, like i said i was dreaming so he's in his his pajamas this is like him dreaming you know and he's dreaming about this whole you know 
event that he's going through and it was really epic and really just dope that I came up with this idea and of course I did the, the star space idea I had to put it in there I mean come on um, and this was this was fun I, I absolutely love this one this was like if I had a top six this would be definitely in there like I said all right so now I think I skipped one I skipped prompt 27 which was music I definitely didn't want to skip this one this one is uh, a very very um, sentimental piece to me um, Music has been a big part of my life, um, and it's got me through a lot of things in my, you know, past and whatnot. And this, I mean, I had to do it. I had, especially this one with Denzel Curry, you know, from you know the hometown. Uh, gotta definitely do that. Um, and also, you know, this is the tip of the iceberg of the, all the artists. That's like my favorite artist, um, like musically. Um, but I did, de I definitely did not want to do. Um, my 2018's version of this, which is, which was, uh, which was Flow. Um, Flow was, um, here, let me just pull it up real quick. Yeah, so Flow was something similar to, um, music, the one I did. Um, I just did, you know, you know, the top MCs, um, that's in, in today's, or, um, you know, just the basic ones. I mean, I would, I would call this mainstream top MCs, in my personal opinion. But, um, but on this was um, definitely, um, I didn't want to re replicate this one. This one was actually one of my favorite ones of 2018's Inktober. Um, so because, you know, I, I, I did such a cool job with mix matching everybody together into this one collage of a piece. So that was fun. But um, all in all, this one is my one of my of course top tens. Um, of course, just to reiterate, we got Tyler the Creator, GID, um, uh, Playboy Cardi. Uh, we got Joy Badass. We got um, Travis Scott, Denzel Curry, Lil Uzi Vert, Future, and Ace Rocky. Um, and and I want to do a little bit more of the newer school um, people. Some of the most more artists that were you know that a lot of us grew up on. So you know. Definitely wanted to replicate that in, in like this piece, in like last piece. So that's one definitely my favorite. And this actually got fe featured on a um on a Ace Rocky um fan page and it got a lot of likes on that one. I was really impressed with that one. I like that one. And now we're on to the third to last one. It is shoes. Now I had to do Jordan ones because Jordan ones are my all-time favorite shoe sneaker. I want to call it. Um, Jordan 1s and then it had to be after the 1s it had to be the 7s and then the 11s I think um, like in that order um, I, I kind of like the 3s but I'm more so, more so like the 1s 1s is my favorite of all time I mean come on um, I mean more too, but it's more fitting because this is old as hell anyway um, yeah this was um, very uh, very like a dream come true um, you know, making a concept of my own shoe, you know, who always, who doesn't want their own Jordan 1s. Um, it was very fun to make. Um, I actually, I actually have a pair of what I references these off of. I references, I reference these off of the um, Fearless um, OGs, I think they were called. I think that's what you call it, the Fearless OGs, OG Fearless, um, the Jordan 1s. Um, the Le Twins um, pair. Let me let me just pull up real quick. I, I actually got a pair in my closet right there. Give me a second. They're right here. Yep, I got a pair right here. I keep them in the box because I like to take care of my shoes. Um, I spent like what three hundred dollars on these shoes. This is the most expensive pair of shoes I ever have. So and I barely wear them, but when I do. I wear them out to a special uh, occasion, so but yeah, I got me a pair of these. You know, still in good condition. You know, I I, I mix match my shoelaces. Oh, I mix match the shoelaces there. You know, so one of my all-time favorite pairs right here. But yeah, definitely had to um, definitely had to watch my column it. Uh, uh, reference those and make my own because I, I like the colorway I like the um, the style of them just the the cultural impact it has made um, just mwah, just beautiful 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 
and I, and this was not my top ten, but like this one was a dream country to make my own, you know. And then we're on to Ominous, which is day 30. Um, Ominous was, it means something scary, so something that's frightening, you know, so I had to do Melissa Fent. I mean, I actually wasn't really into Melissa Fent um, for at, forever until my fiance, she's like, hey, we need to watch it. She's the best person in existence. And I was like, oh, okay, let's see what she, what she got. And honestly, yeah, she was right. She was, it's a really cool series. I wish, I'm looking forward to Melissa Fent 3. Um, uh, I liked the the second one. Second movie was great because it showed more of her kind. Um, not gonna spoil it. I mean, it's been out for a while, so you should have watched it by now. But this was this was really cool. I, I actually had fun doing this, and I actually drew this as a surprise to my fiance because I was like, "Hey, look, I drew her," and she like squeaked and freaked out over. It. She liked it, so you know, you know, I, I you know, big bands, big bands. <laughs> but yeah, no, this was this was fun to make. Um definitely use a lot of references on this one um i actually might do another one of these but paint it you know like, like i've been doing and actually like give it to my fiance or something or make her into like a fairy or is it fae fae or fairy i don't remember but anyway this is ominous this was fun um and actually i'm looking forward to melissa finn three and now we're on to the last one day 31 it was crawl and this one was of one of those sentimental pieces again um i drew this one i drew myself with my you know little wacom pen there um I, I, and you know it, it was a representation of you know the journey was for this whole inktober challenge i mean yeah i I was struggling. I was exhausted, but I still prevailed. I still went through this whole thing and did it day by day by day, and and, and knocked it out. Um, I actually had a blast doing this whole October thing. From all some of the negative, excuse me, for some of the negative things that I was saying, like you know how exhausting it was and how much of a toll it did on my creativity. Sometimes it was honestly a fun challenge. Um, I um I met some really great. Um, artists throughout this whole you know journey and i some that i actually still talk to to this day so that's cool um and i've got to know them a little bit and meet them not meet them in person but you know um meet them online i guess if you want to say that way but yeah this was uh, just to describe the piece though um this is my little smudge guard which i have right here a little smudge guard got in my hand there with my pen like i already said and then, of course, you know, I, I just drew myself in a struggling manner to get to the pen and continue off this last piece. <laughs> so, there you have it, guys. That is Inktober 2020. Um, that is my rendition of every piece. Um, you can check out all of the pieces um, on my Instagram at goodart. Um, and also, um, I just... Oh, let me, let me pull this out real quick. I just finished the the Dreamville 2020 or 2220 piece. This was six months in the making, and I had a absolute blast experimenting with this one. Painting. This is a whole paint. I painted all of this. This was. I suck at painting. I am trash at painting. So I'm like, I was telling myself, you know, I need to really get on this painting stuff. Like I really need to learn and figure it out if I want to make, and I want to take the next step into my art, you know? Um, and painting was one of those things that was my weaknesses. And I am very happy with the way it came out. I'm very impressed with the with the tenacity that I had displayed when coming up with this whole thing and, and sticking with it and enduring it. And of course, you know, I had to do it with Dreamville. You know, Dreamville is one of my favorite music groups. They got some of the most talented people in there. Um, top tier artists, timeless music. You just cannot go wrong with Dreamville. Um, their whole Revenge of, the, um, Revenge of the Dreamers 3 album was... I, I'm still listening to that music as that album to this day. Um, and it's still like one of my favorite albums of 2019, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Um, but yeah, this was, I mean, I had a great time with doing this. I, I did the, um, you know, with Cyberpunk 2077 coming out, um, I had, I wanted to 
do a mixed match between the two. That's when I actually started coming up with the concept for this was because of Cyberpunk 2077. So um, I definitely um, went for like a mixed match style for that. I wanted to have like just cybernetics. Um, the, my whole thought process for this whole piece was like, hey, what if like you know we use the cybernetics you know in the teachings and the, the technology and advancement that we have from 2077 that we have in today's world and it's for today's artists and today's famous people who can afford you know stuff like that to sustain their lifespan and to sustain you know their life and average people can do the same thing too you know um and how will they go about doing that and you know replacing their similar limbs with cybernetics and you know similar whole things and I, I actually had a really cool coming up, coming up with that whole concept and then making it and then drawing it out and painting it um i think uh let me see if you can find it real quick and go into the folder and this is the whole folder that i had with it you know um and uh i i drew literally i drew every single person one by one you know it took me a, a while you know there's jid there's j cole there's um this loot that's omen and then we got Earth Gang, and then we got Cause, we got Boz, and we got um, oh, Aria Linux, who is the, the beautiful Aria Linux. Um, not Aria, Aria, Aria Linux, god dang it. You know what I meant. <laughs> but yeah, this was, I actually have had an absolute blast drawing this, man. This was fun. Six months in the making, on and off, of course. Um, and I actually say this, I actually present this to you guys in a different way as well. Let me pull it up real quick. Over here at goodart.com, that is my website, by the way. Um, you can cop yourself a t-shirt version of it and a hoodie version of it and um i actually did a little bit more work into it i put a little bit of effort to it so i added my little logo on the back of the hoodie um so you know it's kind of like my name brand because i right now i'm starting it off right now um and then of course i um added the piece in three different colors i, d I didn't want to have a variety variety of colors i want to have you know, just main theme main cover colors and then um it's not showing up on the mock-ups here but um there's gonna be the tag dreamville on the left the left hand, left hand right here yeah the left hand uh side of the piece so um it adds a little bit more um depth to the piece and add more uniqueness to the, to the hoodie so and, and these hoodies came out really well too because actually if i can find it i got a copy of one of my hoodies which was um this one right here I got one of these hoodies in, in a few weeks ago and it's it, it's beautiful good quality very com extremely comfortable um and it's actually a size to fit so if you're a size large it's gonna fit you a size large if it's an extra large it's gonna be extra large trust um so <laughs> but yeah it, it was you know this has been six months in making i'm so happy that i was able to make this and also um if you want to support me and um you know uh, buying one of my um, merch or one of my pieces from my clothing line uh, that would be greatly and immensely appreciated. Each uh, funds goes towards me and supporting my um, craft and also making me or helping me improve my quality and the time that I spend on create creativeness because um, God knows I do not want to work the job that I have for any time longer. <laughs> But hey, we gotta grind. We gotta do what we gotta do. So anyway, uh, yeah, just cop a piece at um, you know at goodart.com. You know, winter's coming right around the corner, so you want to keep that uh keep those hoodies up. You know, get the hoodie vibes. You know, maybe your girl wants to steal your hoodies. Buy one of these, so she wants to steal your hoodies. So she just take your own hoodies. You know, do what you want to do. Anyway, yeah, that's been the video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, we got more content coming, and I'll catch you in the next one.